Yeah, Sarah, Brent, this is hour eight. This hearing starting at nine o'clock this morning. More than 160 people signed up to give testimony today, and lawmakers are still hearing those comments now. Like you said, those four bills you mentioned aimed at curbing gun violence and revising firearm standards here in Connecticut. We still have people dying almost every other day in Connecticut. These laws are not going to stop bad people from shooting other people. Passionate testimony Monday on both sides of a long-standing issue, gun control. We are here to make sure that people are safe in this country. Supporters say these bills are necessary to keep Connecticut safe. Until we live in a society where people uh, are no longer dying from gun violence, we have to keep passing as many laws as we can to prevent more preventable death. But those opposed say Connecticut already has some of the strictest gun laws in the nation and argue these new proposals will do little to stop gun crime. There's nothing in here that I can see that address people who do bad things. The people who are, are doing the bad things, they're the ones that got to be dealt with. The measure getting the most attention Monday, the governor's bill addressing gun violence. His proposal would close a loophole in the state's assault weapons ban, raise the age to purchase a long gun from 18 to 21, expand safe storage requirements and more. Another measure would implement micro stamping to identify guns and raise the age to purchase ammunition. A third bill brought by multiple Connecticut mayors aimed at strengthening penalties for repeat offenders of gun-related crimes. If we want Connecticut to be a safer state, we need to pass and continue to update our safe uh, gun laws. The fourth bill Monday, introduced by the Republican caucus, looks to ease restrictions for gun owners. We need to prosecute the guns that we have and hold criminals responsible and stop further restricting the, the legal rights of law-abiding citizens. Yeah, and this is just the start of the process for these bills. Lawmakers tell me these proposals could be split up or even combined as negotiations continue after today's public hearing. The Judiciary Committee must vote whether to advance these measures out of committee by the end of the month. Brent.